Welcome to Indie Resources, how to make a browser-based MORG. This is Halls of Valhalla, this is video, I believe, 31. Um, continuing our guild videos, building the guilds. We just finished up adding guild members, and now we need to be able to send an invite to invite new members. Um, so, basically, here's where we want. We, we want it based on access, and we want it um, to where say level th we'll go to levels one through five on access for now and maybe just one through three but you'll have to be like a special member before you can invite people or actually really should be able to be any member so we'll do that but the one thing we are missing is is when you create the guild you need to be added to the gu guild member group otherwise you're not part of your own guild so what we need to do is we need to go to start guild and where we are adding everything we need to do an insert and we need to insert um we need to insert the player into the actual guild members. So what we'll do is we'll just copy this and we will drop down here, <coughs> insert into guild members, the name, the guild ID, and the access. Now since you're the one that created the access, I'm going to go ahead and do five levels just so we have the five levels. Um, <clears throat> let me double check to make sure that that's what we put in there. So if we go to guild members, we have guild ID, name, and access. So name, guild ID, and access. So the name is going to be the player name. So we're going to change this to player. I think we can just do player yeah, by itself the guild ID is going to be we're actually gonna have to drop this before here below here so we can grab that so let's do that select guild ID that's what we want so the guild ID is going to be this guild ID that we set let's copy that let's put it right here and then the access we're going to want to be five because you're going to be admin. Admin owner is going to be the top one. It's going to be five. So we insert that. Now all we need to do is we need to test this out. So let's go to our guilds and let's get rid of our tutorial guild. And let's go to our player our players and before we can do anything we need to change that back to zero always remember that if you're going to delete a guild you got to make sure whoever's in there has got to go back to zero so let's go back notice we don't have a guild anymore let's start the guild we're going to call it the same thing just to make it easy and create guild the one thing we're not yeah we're doing that it's working uh, I forgot that it takes after this. Um, so we go back. Yeah, I dropped it. So now we go into our guild, and we're in our guild. And if we go to our database, we go to guild members, you will see we've been added to the guild. <clears throat> so now we need to go to the index to our actual guild page. And let's do... Let's do let's let's do something a little different here. Let's build some access table. Let's build a table that's actually guild access to where you can change it from a back end. Um, kind of trying to think if I want to do what constants. Let's go ahead and do it as a table. I just don't know if I want to do the extra query, but I'm gonna let you guys decide how you want to do it on the game. You could either do it in constants, but I'm gonna do it as a table just to kind of since I've already done the constants, kind of show this. Let's do guild access. Let's do guild levels. We're just going to have two fields and they're going to be the name and the access. We're going to do probably we definitely won't need that many but we'll keep it there and the access is going to be a tiny and save. So let's insert into here five levels first level is going to be recruit sounds good enough to me access level one next one will be um, what can we call this one uh, let's just be great let's just 
do captain for now or something. Let's start from up here. Owner. And that's like five. Let's do an admin, because you can be an admin without being an owner. Four. Let's do a moderator. It's three. And then a guild captain. That sounds good enough to me. Look good? Looks good to me. Go. So now we have our five levels. So, let's go ahead and do a query. And you'll see where I'm going with this in just a minute. Oops, I goofed. Good way to mess some stuff up. And we're just going to quickly create a new query. And of course there are functions that you guys can use to make this much simpler, but for the ID that we're using here is where I can show you guys. Um, show you everything where I'm not cheating enough to where you guys kind of miss the whole point behind it. Uh, where am I going? Guild levels. Tutorial guild levels. Okay. Just want to make sure I get everything right so we're not coming back fixing errors. Where access equals now. That's the other thing we need to do now is see I don't really like pulling this we're just going to do name so that's not going to be that big of a query and like I said if you guys don't want these queries then use constants instead it's perfectly fine doesn't really matter either way um, I'm only pulling one little bitty name out of here so it's not really going to be enough to hurt anything but if you decide that it's just one too many query you don't want go back to using just add a constant in your connect that has the different levels in there okay Select all from guilds where guild ID equals ID. And now we need to pull. Let's do um, let's do play guild info, player guild info. Because I know a lot of times people often shy away from too many database hits, but this really isn't that many hits. Um, it's really not enough to hurt anything unless you're just... Usually by the time you get enough to start hurting things, you're, you're jumping on another server. If you get that many players, you're jumping on another server anyway. Guild members where... Name equals... Player... Let's see how we want to do this real quick. Um, guild members... We have guild ID and name. Just for... Just for to keep any kind of cheating, just for an extra check, let's do or name equals player and guild ID equals the guild ID. That'll kind of be one extra check, just to be sure that we're getting the right person. Um, so select all from guild members or name equals player. Da, da, da. So this is going to be our player info. So this I need to actually cut out and put it down here. So like name from guild levels where access equals access equals this is where it's going to tell us what access our player has. And we'll pull. You notice I save all the time. I'm, I'm, I'm freaky about saving at all times. You never know when your computer's going to go down and you'll get lost. Um, so now we have our full access. So now we can do welcome the welcome message. We can come down. Let's go ahead and put some breaks in there. Uh, let's throw in one more. And then we're going to do another echo. And I could concatenate it on to this side of it, but I just to me it's easier to read when I'm going down the list. Um, if if you ever want to really you know make your page run faster, which I don't see really making a difference, but possibility depending on what you're doing you can just concatenate all this stuff but anyway um, now we're gonna do welcome and then we're going to do access info all 
name player. And let's see how that looks. If I did it right, then we don't have any errors. See, welcome owner halls, or it may say, well, captain so and so, well, recruit so and so, and well, it's just something to give a little extra. And if whenever, you, so, and here's, here's what I'm actually thinking. This is the reason why I put it in the database instead of, um, instead of a constant. Is when we go to the database, we can come in here to guild levels, and we can change this completely up to where. We can now do, and this is what I'll probably do, and I may do this off video just so it's faster, but we put in one, two, one through five right here, and we let the we let the guilds choose their access names. So if they don't like recruit, captain, moderator, admin, or owner, they can come in and change it themselves. And I'll set that up in between this video, and that way we're already ready, because it's pretty something pretty simple. But that's where I was kind of going with, but as you see here, it kind of works out well, and I know this whole video was based, you know, just around doing that and that's the problem with 10 minute videos and trying to show this but that's part of it anyway when we get back I promise we'll send the we'll show the um, how to add members to it